Today I'm looking at Dragon Professional Individual 6. Now apparently there's some new changes for example, there's 15% more out of the box accuracy. Continuous learning, so when you're using it, it actually keeps on learning. Also it's got more formatting and other recognition options. The one that I really want to look at is the transcription option, because they're saying now you don't have to you don't have to train the transcription option for a different voice. So that'd be interesting to have a look at that because in Dragon Dictate 5 I didn't find it all that good. Before we start, let's have a look at a new interface. And as you can see, as I zoom in, as I speak, it expands in and out. This is to let you know it's still there and it's active and it's listening. Though it's listening, you can't dictate until we use the command wake up and it's green. Blue indicates it's asleep and green indicates it's awake. To the right here, you can switch between different modes. You might just want to work in numbers mode. You might be using Excel. So you could say switch to numbers mode and everything you say will then be numerals, not spelled out for you. Or you might want to spell something here or maybe use an abbreviation then you could say switch to spelling mode. And the same goes for commands, you just might want to use commands and nothing else. But always remember to say switch to dictation mode to take you back to the dictation. On the right here, I've got a few options. Show commands, so if I click that window, or you could say open commands while Dragon's awake and open up your commands windows and give you commands for various applications. But though they've still got the command option there which is pretty good, we can add your own commands. Show guidance. Now, have that on if you just started using it because it will guide you on what you need to do. So, for example, wake up, turn the microphone on, and you can select commands here as well. So, it gives you loads of little commands there and options. Also, the help option there is quite good. So, I'm going to leave that on for this tutorial for you as well. Also, I want you to go to the top, the little icon. Now, we've got turn microphone on and off, so that will turn it off permanently. Now, switch to the transcription option. This is where you want to actually transcribe an audio file. Now I've got a couple of demos on my desktop, we'll look into that a little bit later, just go over that quickly with you. Hide status window here on the right and show commands. Edit vocabulary is where you add your new words, or you could say open vocabulary editor while Dragon's on it and open up the window to add these new words. Add auto text, so if you've got a load of text you can bring up any time just by saying a command that will bring all the text up for you. Now. As you can see from my actual profile, I've got Logitech, USB, headset and mic. So I'm going to go down to Manage Profiles, and here's my profile here, Testing 2. You can add another profile here, which you need to do for each individual person. Also here, if I click on the little icon, if you select Refill Profile in Finder, it will show you where your profile is. It's in your documents normally. Also here, you can add different mics. So if you've got yourself a fancy Bluetooth one, you can add that and then choose which mic you want to use. So I've got the internal mic and my Logitech I've got on now. Also auto formatting really important. Select that. Choose your formatting options depending on what country you're from as well. UK and Canadian postcodes I have already ticked. Street addresses, you might want abbreviated titles. Dates for example, you might want a certain format. Or dates are spoken. So whatever you say it will then bring up those dates for you. Now numeral starting with. so. Any numbers under 10 here will be spelled out for you. Any numbers above 9 will then be numerals. But you can change that by selecting 0 and that way they'll all be numerals. Or do what I said earlier, switch to numbers mode. You can use that option if you want. So change your formatting options, go through them all. I'm just going to close that window as I've already selected what I need. Go to journal quickly. And I always select the first option so the microphone is in sleep mode when I start Dragon. Also, if you want, you can show status window. That's that window guidance on the right to show at start up. Also, you've got launch Dragon at start up so it will start up automatically for you when you start your Mac. Generate application launch commands. Now, don't worry too much about that, but these are already commands that you can open applications with. For example, open Microsoft Word, open Safari. So they're already generated for you, but in the commands window you can add commands for that anyway. So it's not an issue. Generate email commands if you want to use the email commands. Now auto sleeps here at the bottom. So you can choose if you want it to auto sleep after 3 minutes, 30 seconds and so on. So it will turn blue. So it won't turn the mic off, it just puts it in sleep mode for you in case you forget or run off to the phone. So I'm going to close that and we're going to try it out. I'm going to do it in text edit and then I'm going to have a look in Word. Because in Dragon Dictate 5, there was an issue with the correction, if I recall. If you said correct and tried to correct some words, it didn't always come up. So I want to see how that reacts as well in the new version. Wake up. Open text edit. Go to sleep. 
So I'm going to have a little look. I'm going to dictate something into here and see how it comes up. Wake up. The idea that matter is made up of discrete units is very old idea, comma. Appearing in many ancient cultures such as Greece and India, full stop. New line. The word atom, put quotes around atom, was coined by ancient Greek philosophers, full stop. Go to sleep. So we need to proofread that back to see how that actually picked up. So I can see at the beginning it says the matter is made up of, and it should have been the idea that matter is made up of. Now I'm going to use the correction options in here and see if they work. So I need to correct what's wrong. So I just don't want to correct the word that's wrong. I want to correct the utterance I said that's incorrect so I can add what is right. So I'm going to say correct the matter is made up of discrete. Wake up. Correct the matter is made up of discrete. Edit 1. Choose one. Go to sleep. That worked okay. So you have to correct it. If you don't correct it properly, then it doesn't learn as quick. It will still learn, but I do recommend correcting it if the correction window pops up and works properly. Now, a good way of doing it, I find, so the correcting window always comes up, is as you're dictating, you make a mistake, correct it as you go along. Now, I just read something off Wikipedia, so I wasn't actually looking at the screen, so I had to go back and correct stuff. But if you use the command correct that as you're going along, then it will correct it quicker for you and be more accurate. Let me show you. Wake up. Go to end. New line. I decided to take a walk on Wednesday, but then I ended up getting lost. Correct that. Now turn the mic off so I can talk to you. Now, there's nothing wrong there, it's all perfect, but if you made a mistake, it then highlights the last utterance you said you can correct. So say I said, then I ended up getting lost, and Dragon didn't dictate getting. Then I can correct it properly as I'm going along. Then I'd go on my list and I'd say, choose one, and it corrected for me. So I find the correct command as you're going along works better by saying correct that than doing it afterwards. Just a little fault, see how you get on with that. I'm going to open Microsoft Word because people use Pages and Microsoft Word as a word processor. So first I'm going to turn the mic back on. Open Microsoft Word. Press Enter. Go to sleep. Now as you notice to the right, as I open an application it then gives me commands. So if I select the commands window, it will then give me commands that I can access. So dictation, I have capitalization commands, proofreading, punctuation, recognition correction window, so it shows you what you can do in the correction window, and also special symbols. And there's more. And don't forget your help option here, it'll go online and give you some help. I'm going to see how accurate Dragon is in Word 2016. Wake up. It's a cloudy day today. Comma. I don't know where to go out training on my bike. Go to sleep. Now you can see that's wrong. So it's a cloudy day today. Now I need to read that back to check where I made my errors. Now we can do that with the proofreading option. Wake up. Select all. Read the selection. Cloudy day today, but I want to go out training on my bike. Go to end. Correct that. Choose five. Go to sleep. If you don't see the correct correction in there, just say edit, edit one, edit two, and then add the correct correction. But I find correcting that as you're going along. I don't think it works too well in Word if you go back after you've done your work to correct stuff. Now we're going to look at a bit of formatting as well. So let's put a bit more text in there. Wake up. New paragraph. The idea that matter is made up of discrete units is a very old idea, comma. Appearing in many ancient cultures such as Greece and India, full stop. New line. The word atom, put quotes around atom, was coined by the ancient Greek philosophers, full stop. However, comma, these ideas were founded in philosophical and theological reasoning rather than evidence and experimentation. Full stop. Go to sleep.
Now remember to say about the proofreading options. We come to the commands window to the right again. Now you could actually say just open it with the headset. Wake up. Open commands. Go to sleep. Go to dictation and select proofreading. And there's our proofreading commands. You could proofread the document. I tend to use proofreader selection because I can select the text I want to hear back. Let me show you what I mean. If you want to stop, remember to say stop proofreading. Wake up. Select Atom 2 Experimentation. Read the selection. Atom was coined by the ancient Greek philosophers however, these ideas were founded in philosophical and theological reasoning rather than evidence experimentation. Go to sleep. So I find that better just to do chunks of text that you need to hear back. Now if you want to unselect that, you just say unselect that. Wake up. Unselect that. New paragraph. Put brackets around however. Put quotes around discrete units. Underline ancient. Italicise Greece and India. Underline made. Italicise cloudy day. Go to end. Delete discrete units. Undo that. Go to sleep. Still quite responsive. The accuracy is pretty good as it hasn't lured my voice yet. Now to move the cursor around is the same as Dragon Dictate 5. Now I've done a video tutorial on Dragon Dictate 5 and the commands are more or less the same. So I won't go through all the commands today. Go back on my Dragon Dictate 5 and just use those commands. But you've got your commands window anyway. Now look where the cursor is at the moment. It's just before discrete units with quotes around it. So I need to move that. So I can move the cursor exactly where I want. Wake up. Go to beginning. Go to end. Insert before experimentation. Insert after experimentation. Insert before coined. Go to end. Go to sleep. Another option when you're talking is deleting words. You could say scratch word, you could say scratch that. Scratch that the least last utterance you said without a gap. Or you can delete words just by saying them. So say I want to delete cloudy day today. I'm just say delete cloudy day today. Wake up. Delete cloudy day today. Undo that. Go to end. Hello, how are you? Scratch that. Hello, how have you been? Scratch word. Full stop. Go to sleep. So you see the dictation is still pretty good. We're going to have a quick look what I'm going to have another quick look at is changing modes that I showed you earlier from spelling mode and numbers mode. Wake up. New line. Spelling mode. Go to sleep. And when I selected spelling mode, you can see top left hand corner, it's now gone to ABC, which signifies we're now in spelling mode. Wake up. ABC. New line. Alpha Bravo Charlie new line. Switch to numbers mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Switch to dictation mode. Go to sleep. So it's a good way to switch between modes and do things quickly. Now again, as I said, I've got most of these options on Dragon Dictate 5, so have a look at my previous video. But let me show you how to add words quickly that don't exist in the vocabulary. Now you can do it two ways. One, you can go to the top, select the little white dragon icon, and select Edit Vocabulary. Or you can just say Open Vocabulary Editor. Wake up. Open Vocabulary Editor. Go to sleep. Now you can add a word quickly. So I'm going to add my name, which is unusual to say the least, and it's Chandru. Apparently it means Alexandra. Now I'm going to click the enter key and it's going to search to see if it's in the vocabulary. Oh, there you go. It's almost it's because it sounds phonetically the same, not because that's what it means. Now it doesn't exist, so I'm going to add it. So come to the bottom. So I'm going to add it. So I'm going to put my name in there. And spoken form. 
this is how the word is spoken so it's Shandru so I would S H A N D R Shandru and that's how it sounds when you say it phonetically so the word I want is Shandru and I'm going to train dragon and, and the phonetically say Shandru click OK it's now added to check it come to the top and select user and there it is there should we give it a go so highlight it we need to train it so select the settings button and select train you can delete it if I click edit you can re-edit it there if you want to also from Dragon 5 or Dragon 4 you can import some of your vocabulary words as well using the import option by exporting them out of various versions but I'm going to select train now apparently in this version you just have to train it three times but now you only have to train it once so we'll see how good that really is so I'm going to turn the microphone on by tapping it Shandru and I'm going to click done so we'll see if it's learned click back into a document wake up new paragraph Shandru go to sleep well that's a bit more responsive adding words by saying it once so I think the actually is a bit better than Dragon Dictate 5 and adding words is definitely better because sometimes I've added words and it didn't pick up for quite a while so that's positive now I'm going to look at the transcribing option and see how good that is so what we need to do is come to the top select the icon and say switch to transcription and wait for it to turn off your dictation profile and go to transcription profile and here we are ready to go if the speaker's me I'll leave it on that choose where you want to dictate into so I've got Microsoft Word but you can open Open Office, Microsoft Word Claro Speak which you probably haven't got in text edit so I'm going to leave it on Microsoft Word I'm happy with that and I want it to go to my desktop now I've got another demo on the desktop here I've recorded a lecture earlier on YouTube from about 10 feet away with just a standard dictaphone I'm going to try and transcribe that because it's a different voice but I've also done me where I've read something off Wikipedia I want to see how that transcribes as well so let's do my voice first and I believe it's about Oscar Wilde so what I'm going to do I could open transcribe files folder where I've got them all in one folder batch transcoding if you want but I just want to do one file so I'm going to click plus and there it is Oscar Wilde and now I'm going to click the start button it might take a while, let you know how long it takes in a minute, so I might skip part of the video. So that is finished, and I should have the file on my desktop, it tells me at the top here. So I'm going to close that, minimize that, because I'm coming back to that. And we're going to see how it's transcribed. There it is, Oscar Wilde. And initial quick look, it don't look too bad at all. It's pretty accurate. And that was something I read out earlier. But there again, it's quite accurate in Dragon Dictate 5, your own voice. The important one is someone else's voice. So it doesn't need no training. So I'm going to go back to, I'm not going to say what we did earlier. I'm going to go back to the transcription again. This time I'm going to select someone else. And this was online. And it's called Think Fast, Talk Smart. So I just put lecture in, click continue, and it's definitely had a United States accent. Click continue, and let's see how this works. And bear in mind, this is all in real time. I haven't tested this out yet. Now you can see I've recorded that dictaphone in WAV format because that's the best format I. Have. So I'm going to open up the Word document now. That is pretty good considering I was 10 feet away. And it's one, I haven't got a very good speaker on my YouTube channel either. But again, it's not like an environment in a lecture room, is it, where you get noise, background noise, and you're a distance away. But if you can get your dictaphone close to the speaker, you might get a bit of decent dictation to transcribe. Definitely worth a look at. So I'm just going to go back to my dictation mode, click the icon again at the top, and I want to switch to dictation. So my overall view is the dictation is still good, probably a little bit better. The correction option is still a bit niggly, disappears sometimes, doesn't always come up. 
The transcription option, that's a big jump from Dragon Dictate 5. But again, it still depends on the quality, but that's a lot better. So the overall, I'd say Dragon Professional Individual is better than Dragon Dictate 5. But not a massive jump yet. Hope this quick video tutorial was helpful. Any questions, get back to me. Thanks for watching.